Hi everyone. This is a demo of Amazon Textract, a Laravel PM framework PHP script, which will allow you to extract text from PDF files and images files. And on top of regular text, you can also extract um, tables and data from forum documents plus invoices. So I'll be showing a demo. Um, so this is this script fully powered by Amazon uh, Textract service. Uh, you can learn more about by visiting among the um, AWS website. So Amazon Text Track is one of the AWS services which allows you to extract text. So and behind this this script, uh, it's using APIs of Amazon Text Track. So it was created for convenience so that you don't need to go into your AWS Management Console, parse some documents, and then spend time looking for it in the uh, in your S3 buckets. So this script handles it nicely for you. Uh, so it has some front end um, that you can basically do whatever you want. Um, and then let's log in to see further details on the back end and showcase how it actually works. So when you log in as an admin, first thing you will see is the admin dashboard. It will show you how many users were registered, uh, total credits that were used, uh, what kind of total tasks that were run, and then estimated um, spending of the tab for the text track service. Now, when user logs in, when user will, will immediately see the, the first text track page um, that basically the place where they can upload their images or PDF files and with this uh, get the results back. A um, couple things to go through, through the options here so you can understand. You can group all your projects here um, so you can set, you can create whatever you want and then um, that will allow you to group um, your projects and it will be needed when you'll reach, for example, my text track projects um, page. Um, there you can filter by your projects, uh, which is very nice. Uh, so it supports currently six languages, English, French, German, Italian, Portuguese and Spanish. Um, so all the derivatives, all the, time, the versions of Span Spanish from Latin America are also supported. Um, so there are more languages to come, uh, but whenever the AWS will release a support for new language, we will also include into this script. Uh, you can upload, as I said, files currently in three formats, um, images that would be JPEG or PNG image and PDF documents. And you can control the number of files, for example, for number of pages for PDF files, and then the size of the PDF and image files uh, through the uh, admin panel here. So under text track management, uh, you have text track configuration, which will allow you to set the configuration. I'll show you in a second. Um, also, when you create a task, make sure you select what kind of task you want to run, uh, whether it's um, uh, form detection, uh, table detection, or receipt detection. If you don't select any of them, by default, um, the script will process um, as just for the, te just for the text. Uh, but if you select any of them, on top of the text, it will also parse for uh, table detection and form detection or the, um, uh, receipt detection. Um, and each of them can be enabled by the, uh, with an, I mean, you can set it as a default mode through the text our configuration page as well. Uh, so this demo is publicly available. Link is in the description. Uh, you can play around yourself, upload some files as you need, and I'll show here some of the um, results that were people uh, up uploaded by people uh, so, for example, what we have here, we have something and bombas. Let me find something which is nicer. Uh, yeah, so whatever it is. Um, so, you, if you go to the text track results, you will see all the results uploaded by you or by anyone else. Uh, in this case, that's since I'm admin, uh, this is my uh, user admin account. Uh, but when you log in with your credentials, obviously you see your only your files. Admin can still see all results uh, through um, in text track management. If you click on text track results, uh, you will see all the results created by admin and the regular users. Uh, so, for example, we were seeing one of those. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Uh, what actually processed. You have three options here. Uh, you can download the source file that you uploaded yourself and you can view the results. So when you click on the view results, uh, you will see that all the text has been identified and detected. Uh, you can go ahead and download it. So you'll download as a zip file and I'll open in a second. And also you will see that here forms, tables, receipt summary, receipt um, items, 
are the, these tabs are there in case if you selected a task uh, with table detection for example uh, you would see results here now if I go to back to the results uh, since it was only text uh, text um, detection task uh, you get two files one is the actual raw text from the uh, image as you can see it identified 100% correctly second is the raw JSON file uh, which was returned as a text track result now that's in case if you need it for whatever the reason and if you had for example uh, table detection selected uh, you would see additional file for and, and the Excel sheet table uh, basically so let's return if you go to the my projects my text track projects page as I said uh, you can see all the projects uh, so if it was if there was something under texting you would uh, testing you would see under testing etc so under your profile you can see additional information in terms of how many credits you use for each task uh, like for example test detect text detection uh, receipt detection and so forth and also it gives you overall available credits for each of them you can you can request credits from uh, creating a support request and again this is not a SaaS product there is a SaaS version called cloud textract um, definitely check out the video both of those scripts uh, real source codes are available in code canyon uh, so you can get the source codes from there and run this script on any hosting whether it's a private hosting public hosting shared hosting whatever um, the only requirement would be uh, PHP version uh, 7.4 support and MySQL 5.7 uh, which nowadays pretty much 100% of the hosting do support and some standard information in terms of notifications that you can receive from the admins and as I said support request now let's check out the admin page so there are a couple things uh, that you might be interested in terms of so if, uh, if you visit Textract dashboard it gives you the breakdown of the, how many text credits were used for credits for receipt tasks, table tasks, and so forth. Um, that's basically diving deep. Under the text results, you would see all the tasks uh, that were run and by whom they were run. So in this case, all of them were run by uh, this admin, um, with this user with admin credential. Uh, there was also a task run by user. Uh, so that's just for your information. So let's get into the configuration page here you can select a default language so for example if you're constantly uploading or your users are uploading um, files in uh, you know in italian language you can set italian as a default and let's say all of them are uploading a um, text track i mean the um, as the uh, with a table in this in those files you can enable it so that it will be enabled by default you don't have to select it now you also can set max files per user and per admin um, and there's no subscribers so that will be removed on the future update it's only user and admin groups um, as i said it's not a SaaS product and you can also define the size of the uh, pdf files um, so for example here and including so this is um, at the top you saw for the size file for images and below are the size for pdf files um, and also you can set the quantity of pdf page limits um, so text track supports up to 3000 pages um, and the file size for PDF is around uh, 500 megabyte and the max file size for image can be 10 megabyte. yes um, so these are strict limitations by AWS um, for Amazon text track um, so you cannot exceed those limits uh, but still those limits are still a lot um, and um, you can also enable disable the uh, upload preview files and then for example if you're not if you don't want users to uh, upload PDF files you can just remove the PDF and save it so in this case only JPEG and PNG formats um, will be available for the user also for for new reg uh, registered uh, users you can define the welcome credits uh, let's say you want to give them I don't know 1000 credits you can do it immediately that basically means they can run 1000 um, tasks for processing pages uh, just make sure that the price um, there is a free tier limit uh, for uh, that comes from Amazon text track uh, but that's uh, you can learn more on the uh, uh, official Amazon text track pricing page the link is in the description as well and also all you have to do is create your uh, include your IEM access keys um, 
and then uh, include the bucket with proper region. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just make sure that the region is and does support Amazon Text Track uh, service. So all the configuration instructions for Amazon Text Track are provided in our documentation. So definitely, I recommend you to visit it. Uh, it's available in our Code Canyon page for this particular script. Now under user management, that's the standard process of seeing the user details in terms of how many users are registered, uh, where they're from, how many are online, and so forth. You can see the entire list of users uh, that were registered. Um, so all of them, as you can see, they got uh, default credits that you set in the uh, Textler configuration page when they when they were registered. And you can change this actually, add more credits, for example, if you want to increase it by, I don't know, 100 pages, you can do it definitely. Um, so that's up to you. Uh, also, under general settings, if you go to the registration settings, uh, let me open in a new tab, under registration settings, you can completely disable new registration option, um, which will, by which you can create users manually if you want. So it will be a closed um, a closed access for uh, users that you grant access um, explicitly. And then you can uh, also en enable uh, email verification so that only legit users with verified emails can access uh, your website. The support requests are basically all the support requests that come from the user are popped up here. So you can take a look, take an action on it. And if you go to the general settings, here you will see all the general settings uh, available for uh, for you in terms of setting up the uh, global details such as time zone, the site name, websites, enabling reCAPTCHA or Google Analytics, Google Maps, etc. And then you can change the logos as you want, um, the put whatever SEO, uh, title descriptions. You can also enable and disable front end pages as you want, uh, put custom URL um, uh, files, just make sure that you include the correct URL from the absolute pass of the script and some very social media icons for the front end. You can create blogs um, just by clicking create blogs and the process is straightforward. Um, and then some configuration pages in terms of setting up SMTP settings for sending emails, um, taking database backup if you want, activation part, uh, upgrade software, and so forth. Uh, also, the user can use uh, their social media credentials to log in um, to your website. Um, that's in a nutshell. Um, so yeah, definitely check out the uh, so as you can see, while we were testing, someone ran a task. Um, just gonna take a look at it. Yeah, and by the way, so I forgot to mention, starting from last year, uh, TextRack now supports um, handwritten uh, sentences. And you can see here, it basically identified uh, the text which was written by hand, uh, which is really amazing. And you can obviously download and then um, get this file in a nice TXT format. Um, so definitely check out the demo. The link is in the description. Source code is available in Code Canyon, uh, so you can get it there. Uh, if you like this video, definitely subscribe. Um, there will be more videos um, which will explain all our other products, but also there will be general tutorials for uh, uh, cloud services. Um, so I hope you liked it. Um, see you later.